So here we have the Minister of Groove. Right, with us on the couches. With us on the couches. So tell us, so you have to tell me. You have that. We were talking a little bit um, in the back, and you were talking about Zorro, the name Zorro. You've got a, a few names, but talk, tell me about your favorite name out of all the ones that people people call you. Well, they call me Z, Z-Man, Z-Bart. I got about a thousand. You would, you'd be amazed at how many nicknames you can come up with the letter Z, but <laughs> they've named me all those. But my mother's the one that gave me the Zorro name as a, as a young boy because she said that I had the heart of the Zorro. The, the real Zorro was somebody who fought for the underdog, who fought for the poor. And so that's been my heart is to fight for the underdog, the person who has a dream and wants to get it out but doesn't know how. Mm -hmm. So that's always been who I was. That's who God made me to be. So I just walked into that destiny. That name had destiny. That's awesome. And you do just about everything, but you are a drummer, and I know that you were given the name Minister of Groove, which is pretty cool, by a pretty cool mu musician himself. Yeah, that'd be Tell Lenny, us about that. Lenny Kravitz. He called me the Minister of Groove. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, well, it, Groove is, as a drummer, Groove is like the most important thing. Groove is like the feel, the pocket, the, the, the beat, you know, mm -hmm. and so that we call that the Groove. And so he calls me the Minister of Groove, but I'm also the minister of the gospel. I'm a minister of many things. Absolutely, and you have a new book coming out, which we're so excited about, which highlights that. So we're gonna talk about that, but before we get into it, we have a quick clip that we're gonna show you guys. Hi, I'm Zorro, author of the book, Soar, Nine Proven Keys for Unlocking Your Limitless Potential. Soar is the culmination of all of my life experiences. I came from very humble beginnings and all the things that I dreamed of doing, I've been fortunate enough to accomplish. So I have lived out the principles of SOAR. This isn't just some fantasy book of something that'd be a nice idea. These are things I've lived out and have worked over and over again. The book is available all around the world and nationwide. It's available as an ebook in every format, a Nook, tablet, iBook, ebook. It's also available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. I hope that you pick up a copy and I'm certain that you'll be inspired, motivated, and educated in, at the same time. Thank you so much, take care, and God bless, and we'll see you out there when you soar. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is Soar. You were meant to live for so much more. I wanna talk a little bit about where you, your inspiration for this book came from. I know that you have a really cool story. Well, first of all, I've always been, the thing that drives me the most is helping other people. Mm -hmm. um, I've been fortunate that in my life, God has given me many visions and many dreams, and he has shown me how to accomplish all of those visions and dreams. But the greater joy in me is to help other people do the same thing for themselves, mm -hmm. because everybody has a song that uh, I feel like God's given each person a secret melody of their own, but only you can sing it. And the whole journey of your life is to under, uh, understand that melody and understand your call. And because God has given people dreams and visions and purposes and callings, and there's nothing more fulfilling on this planet than walking in that calling and then living out that dream. And in the, you know, it was a dream of mine to write books when I was a young boy, and, and, uh, and against all hope, by the way. And I wasn't trained for it. I didn't go to school for it. But when God places something in your heart, if you choose to believe Him and then do your part to fulfill the dream. Because God didn't make robots, he made individual people. So he gives you desires, he gives you dreams, he gives you the, the, the tools, he gives you all of the stuff, but you've got to desire it, mm -hmm. you've got to want it, and you've got to follow a process that it takes to turn that into something. But that's the joy of living. The joy of life is the process itself, going through the steps to go, hey, I started here, and look, I'm doing this now. Yeah. God wants yeah. us all to soar. He wants us, he created us to soar, but many people have never left the ground. Yeah. Right. And you do a little bit of that, talk, talking about that, um, these steps of teaching people how to soar, right? You wanna talk a little bit about those, those principles that you kind of capture mm -hmm. in the book and, and really what that process was like and why, why, did, you, why did you put those, those nine principles together? Because those are the ones that the Lord showed me that are the missing principles in most people's life. It starts off with you can't discover God's dream for your life until you actually know him. So you must surrender. That's the first principle. Then you've got to discover what it is that he gave you because you can't, you can't begin to dream about it, which is the third step. You, you dream about something after you discovered it. When I discovered I had rhythm, I began to dream about how can I be a drummer with this rhythm? Look, I'm, I'm connected to rhythm, right? And you dream about it, but then you've got to strategize. You can't just dream. Now you have to plan it out. After you plan it out, you must pursue it. 
because that's where all the work and all the labor is. And in the pursuit, then you must learn to believe, which is the sixth step. You have to believe and have faith and trust that God can make a way for you to use this gift to shine. Then you've got to learn how to bend, which is the seventh step, because it's never a straight line to God's destiny. It's, it's always filled with opposition, setbacks, disappointments, and that's where people give up. So you must learn to bend. And then the eighth step is you must learn to be. B-E, be the person that God made you to be. You'll never soar trying to be in somebody else's wings. You can only soar when you are the person that he created you to be with the unique identity he gave you. And then the last most important step is that we're here to impact people. The ninth step is the whole reason you want to soar is so you can touch the lives of many other people as you're flying by. And as you fly into the sky and do what God created you to do, you give other people a license to do the same thing. So we're, we're here to impact people. We're not here just to succeed for success's sake. We're here to make a difference. But we do that with our life, with the gifts and talents that God gave us. We can't do it with anything else. We have to do it with what we have, but we got to recognize it and then we've got to do our part. So there's many uh, inspirational stories and anecdotes and uh, lots, of, lots of inspiration and quotes in the book to help inspire people to follow these principles because God is very orderly and there's structure and substance in everything that he does. That is so good. Okay, before we let you go, tell us you where let people... Me go? I know, well, we don't want to let <laughs> you go. Yeah, we, we're just going to stay here forever. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> but tell us where we can find out more about your ministry. You have a powerful ministry with for the youth mm -hmm. where people can go to help, learn about it, find out more information about your book, all that good stuff. Okay, so the ministry is Zorro, Z-O-R-O, Zorro Ministries, spelt out, zoroministries.org, mm -hmm. and you can subscribe to my blog. It's free. If you go on the website, just subscribe and soar, zoroministries.org.